I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in a break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's up, my man? How you hey, feeling? I feel pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. What about you? I was a little late today. Yeah, what's I was, I was, uh, I was just like, and it made me think too about being late for work because I woke up and I was like, I'm just gonna be late. You're today. gonna be late. I'm just gonna be late. I've never not. Uh, I have a problem with timing, fitting too much into one space. Like if I like say I have to go, like for example, before you came here, mm-hmm. I'm always running five minutes over. Okay. Because I do a lot of tasks right. before I leave. Right. Like before you were here, I had like I finished packing, I cleaned my house, like I did all this stuff before you got here. Yeah, but because I crammed too much in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm now five minutes over. Ten yeah, minutes over. I do that. I, that happens too. But I can usually like. It's, I've that's usually, why I'm always late. But I've usually crank. padded for that. You know what I mean? I've I kind of pad a little bit. Yeah. Because I know I'm probably gonna fucking futz around on something like mm-hmm. uh, you know what I mean? Like uh, I gotta clean this thing before I go or something like that. And then but I get then, then OCD there's other but then there's distracted. A, then there's other times though where I, I'm just You're like just blatantly late. I'm just gonna be fucking late. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna be late. Well, you know, when I don't you know how many jobs I've to done do that too. Too. Oh, really? Like, oh, bro. Well, I'm just. You know what? Like, it's like when I'm gonna be ten minutes late, I'm rushing. When I'm gonna be thirty-five minutes, I'm like, fuck it. You know Might as well wild. make it fifty. It brings up something that I haven't thought about in a long time, and that's how serious it was to be late. Oh, huge, dude. It doesn't exist anymore. I mean, obviously, if you're coming into work fifty minutes late without any excuse on a regular basis that's a problem or if you run a job where you have to like i once worked for a gym where i had to open yeah totally. and they got those fucking those people that wait there like and i just moved, i remember the job i had when i first moved here i used to have to open at 5 45 a.m and i was pursuing stand-up mm-hmm. and oh. i just got here so it was all open mics like midnight yeah, yeah, yeah and then i would get up and there were a number of times where i was there at 605 Six ten. Twenty five minutes late. And so people are standing out for those front. people were yeah. pissed. Yeah, totally. Because they're on a thing. Well man. they're gonna be late now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah now totally, I'm making yeah. like fifty people late. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I dude. If you, that- now it's not like that though. Like office jobs, uh, I'm sure some of them but the flexibility of like, I, listen, no one's going to ding you for being five, ten minutes late. You make it up on the back end. It's like they let you be a little bit more of an adult. I Well, I'd say this. I think it's because we're older now uh, that you don't run into it as much. Oh. I think if you were 25 and yeah. new at the job, right? Yeah. You're like ten minutes late. Somebody, There's somebody that's going to make a fucking issue out of it. Mm-hmm. Because this kid needs to know. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, he's like, these fucking yeah, kids there's don't a flex. know. I yeah. Had, yeah, right. There's, there's always flex. somebody that's like going to make a fucking big deal out of it. One time, I had, this was probably 2012, uh-huh. I fucking had a giant laptop. I mean, they oh. you know, one of those. Yeah, those old. And, yeah. They, and it was like one of those rare instances in, during that era where they're like, go work from home. So I brought it home. And I. It's like carrying a flat, t- flat yeah. screen TV. And you on. think yeah, yeah. like this is going to be great, and carrying it home, I'm like, this is awful, dude. I got to take this billboard yeah, on the, the subway. What am I doing? <laughs> and so then it's the like way- two guys <laughs> carrying a pane of glass. <laughs> I mean, even worse, it's just the, the it's just obstruction. I'm banging people with it on the subway. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're like it's one hitting of those, my shins. You're, when I- <laughs> you're like one of those girls with those big bags who has no fucking no clue. concept of yeah. space. Like, yo, you're fucking banging everybody oh, with your bag, dude. lady. I had one guy on the train like get really mad at me about that but he didn't want to say he was mad oh yeah. it was like one of those things where he didn't go all the way with it because it he thought maybe i would i would go because he's a new york the, subway yeah yeah you so don't he know said, yeah, so right. he was like <gasps> oh that that <sighs> pussy shit. i hate that shit yeah man. dude just fucking say I so you gotta if you gotta sit and huff just say come on hey yeah. by the bag like, yeah yeah you know what i do what, what? you know i, what I, do? I, I you don't care, so when I can't somebody imagine. gets on with the backpack, the big backpack on a crowded subway, and they have no fucking, and they're just taking up a whole. It's basically yeah. they're taking up a whole body space. Oh yeah, and it's like, bro, take it up. Like, put it by five your, p.m. Yep. Put it by your fucking legs. Oh, I twist them, so I lean on their bag, what, <laughs> so that I I just like twist them, so they get like twisted, and I'll just I'll just lean on it. And I'll so just, you do Brazi- Brazilian jiu jitsu <laughs> and some poor fucker. <laughs> I'm like, take the bag off. So dude. like Hoist Gracie, where he bends your arm one way, but your body goes the other. They call it the chicken wing. 
So I chicken wing him. Subway <laughs> jujitsu. Yeah. I Steven Seagal the fucker's arm inside his own knapsack. <laughs> It's just a light twist. It's just a light twisting <laughs> of an inconsiderate person. That's all. So I have this fucking computer in my bag, and it's Monday, right? And I'm running late. Mm -hmm. Of course I'm running late. Sure. And I'm wearing the... Sh Dude, I so broke. I was wearing these khakis that were floods. Oh, sure. So uh, I'm just... I'm trying to, like, sag them a little so they're not as high up. I mean, they're... Oh, so you're pulling them down a little oh, just, bit. Just, yeah, cause yeah, it, yeah, yeah. just to make up some of the difference. So <laughs> Because it was ridiculous. Just cover up that calf muscle. <laughs> and I had one guy, I was, there was this dude at the job. The top of, there's a gap between the top of your sock and the pan. <laughs> I just cover a little bit of the Achilles tendon. This guy wearing capris, what's going on? <laughs> so there's this dude at the job, too. I like this guy. We used to bust balls and like do major league quotes. You know, oh, yeah, He's yeah. one of those guys that yeah. you just bond with. And he was like a, he was like a dorky guy. And I said something about his um his shirt. And he goes, "Are you talking to me? You're wearing floods." <laughs> I remember it was like one of the few. It was probably the last time a civilian like zipped me. Oh, uh huh. It's probably the last time. Uh -huh. But it was really good. Like you oh, got me because floods. I mean, when you're not self aware, floods floods will take you down. Where when you, somebody you don't come back from floods. Well, I don't know what that is. It's it was because when I was it's a kid, poor kid shit too. When I was, I was so, a kid. Oh, 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 it was a huge thing, man. Just yeah, because if you can't afford about, to upgrade the pants every year, yeah. you're you grow four inches over the summer. I used to, <laughs> and I used to get. I used to get dinged at like because I played sports in the locker room. I would get dinged oh, that was for the wearing the same clothes at the next day because yeah. you'd have weekend games. Dude. Dude. I, hey, didn't that you wear sucked. that yesterday? I was like. Now you just tell people you're colorblind. <laughs> well, now, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> well, now I just wear black and white. <laughs> I just have a hundred of the same shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's so, Especially when it's like your teammates, too. Like, oh, like, yeah, yeah. Like, they don't respect the whole, me. Like, I just walked in. I didn't even put my equipment there. They already like, had it. They're already going in on you. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, didn't you wear that yesterday? <laughs> Fuck off, dude. What are you, Damn the fashion it. police? <laughs> I'm a cartoon character. How the fuck are you going to know my brand if yeah. I don't wear the same clothes every day? So I'm in these khakis that are floods, and I'm running. I'm trying to catch the train. You know how you hear the train? And I got this fucking thing on my back, and I'm huffing it, dude. I'm huffing it the sidewalk, up the first set of steps, and then up the second set to get oh, to the yeah. train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I get those second set, I hit the like the fifth stair, and it catches my shoe ever so slightly. I thought you were gonna say, I the thing was so big, I caught a little air. <laughs> no, but it's like wings, like a little bat. Like opposite, <laughs> it weighed me down. Oh, dude. So I beefed it, and I- Over, tip well, over? No, because luckily I had gotten enough forward <laughs> where I could get over the top of the top step. Yeah. And I took most of it on my knee. Oh. So I busted my ass in front of like, I mean, we're talking about back in the day at 8, 15 a.m. platform. Like back in the day. Oh, yeah. So everyone's there. Packed. There are people that probably <laughs> were like, hey, did you see that guy in the platform? Like, everyone's oh, yeah. there. <laughs> Everyone. The whole neighborhood's there. <laughs> and you remember when that guy fell in the platform? And then you see those people because you leave at the same time. Yeah, and now I'm the yeah, guy yeah. that beefed it. And I fucked my knee up so bad, and I looked down, and my fucking floods had split, and there was blood coming down. But because oh, they're so tight, yeah, they're so tight. Because <laughs> that's it's like so the, cheap. That's like the taper part. It's now at your knee. <laughs> <laughs> and it was worn already. <laughs> and, and now I gotta go to work, so I'm working the whole day in these, and I got one other pair. And I can't, like, it, payday is a long ways away, oh, and that's already dude. accounted for. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm already oh, using yeah. my credit card for groceries. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, it sucked. Yeah, I was lucky. When I first moved to New York, I was working as an assistant editor. I, I got a job, uh, like, six months in here, I got a job as an assistant editor, and everybody was super casual. And I went, I remember <laughs> I went to work wearing a bathing suit. Cause I was such a dirtbag. I was like, "Oh, I can go." I went to work wearing a bathing suit and flip flops. And I remember being on the platform, and a buddy—I run into a buddy of mine who's going to work. He's wearing like a you know a oh, yeah. tie and a shirt. He goes, "Dude, you go to work like this?" <laughs> and I go, "Yeah, why?" He goes, and then I noticed you dress like the kid in Big Daddy. Yeah, dude, I really do. And <laughs> <laughs> might as well put the fucking uh, the, with the scuba gear on or whatever. <laughs> But it's like it, went, it put this awakening in me that when I looked around, I was like, oh, 
everybody dresses casual, but nobody dresses like a fucking you, drug like, addict. I know. I remember <laughs> you, you get one. You know, talk about give an inch, take a mile. I would go so far. I'd ruin it for everybody. <laughs> like we got to stop doing it because yeah. this guy. And I, you would think, what do you mean? I got. Uh, I just yeah I ate all the pita chips. <laughs> oh dude, you oh. just did the grocery shopping, what? bro. Oh, hey, grocery <laughs> shopping? More? Like, why is this my? Why is it a problem? That edit house. So I was working in the mailroom there. They had they would put beer in the fridge, and you would order beer. So the guy in the mailroom yeah. would put the beer order in. As soon as I came on, I was like ordering like IPAs, like just because it used to just be like Budweisers and Coronas. Oh. And I come in, I start, yeah, I'm yeah. like on the you phone. You got a microbrewery like, on the uh, phone? Yeah, I'm like, I'm on the phone with the guy. I go, what do you got seasonal? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of that pumpkin ale coming yeah, in? Yeah, dude, and I would have a full, and I would just, and they were like, we're spending a lot on beer. <laughs> the beer Tom, do you budget. want the best or do you not want the best? <laughs> this is an image of you, Tom. <laughs> I'm trying to paint an image in your likeness, Tom. A lot of people around here have been buzzing about the beer. Hey, hey people, people have been buzzing. A lot of them come to my office <laughs> where I have them in my personal refrigerator. I've been hanging out in the mail room. The congregation. <laughs> I mean, we're working problems out down there, Tom. Well, on top of that, I was taking like an extra six home a week, six back. I was definitely walking the beers for sure. <laughs> I had this acting job at uh, the World Theater. Or oh, something, you know, World the, Cafe, right? Nah. The, the, the giant one where like the off Broadway shows go. Yeah, uh, it's it's stand underneath. It's more. It uh, no, it's that it's something different. I, oh. I, I, I got to look it up. But it, it was a massive, massive theater, and the gig was from. Fuck! I had to. Re My call time was six p.m. and they were like, "Yeah, you're gonna be here till three a.m." because it was an ongoing show. So ongoing what? Show. Uh, yeah. So I'm. Pl I was playing an agent in this. Uh, kind of murder mystery acting job where all these different groups have to com come to me. So I'm doing 10 performances, but all my performances last like 10 minutes. Huh. So I have all this time to kill in uh, between. Uh -huh. And it's like five of us in there, five actors. Uh -huh. And it was right after the pandemic ended. And we look over and they put us in like a private bar area, which I'm, I'm assuming when a big show's there, that's where they hold like the VIP you know, after parties yeah. kind of thing. Yep, yep, yep. So we're back there hanging out, and there's just um, beers stacked. Yeah. Just warm beer mm -hmm. stacked. And they came in there, the the people that run it, and they're like, hey, um, so when you guys are in here hanging out, these are all expired beer. And it's not like they're bad, but yes. they can't serve them. Right. Have at it. I mean, we took. Oh, yeah. We One guy. We're talking about actors who can't afford an Uber. Guys are trying to do an Uber pool to <laughs> make sure they could take their fucking beer home. Oh yeah. We we when I say there were a lot of beer, I'm talking a hundred cases of, of beer. Yeah. And then we're drinking them back there, warm like yeah, scumbags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I took I took so many. I don't even like beer. Dude, I remember in college, I had a roommate. He would he had this great ingenious thing like we would get like a, a keg of beer yeah and if you had like you know you didn't finish the keg he would and it went warm the next day you get a quarter keg of uh yingling porter which is the black yeah the dark black beer and you mix them so you you have a half stale beer warm stale oh, beer and something that's supposed to be warm and you're making a black and tan yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh that's alcoholic oh, science, dude. Dude, it was. Dude, I learned so much from him. <laughs> I would tell you, the first time I met him, I was a, uh, I guess a sophomore, and I just moved to the dorms, and I and I had like that little chalkboard on the front of the door, and I drew like a little stony person and a weed thing, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I was just fucking drunk. I had met no one yet. I got there like two days early. I get a knock on the door, and I open the door, and the guy's like, uh, "Hey, did you draw this?" And I was like, "Why?" He goes, you smoke weed? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, you drink beer? I go, yeah. He goes, me too. I drink, pass out, wake up, start drinking again. I go, <laughs> oh, you mean like an alcoholic? Me too. <laughs> it was like the Lord sent <laughs> some guy, like, a, like an angel, <laughs> like a guardian angel. It really was. He really was. It's like that guy that finally answers the band ad for the guitar player. <laughs> Dude. What's your influences? 
after we were we were like brother immediate brothers and we failed out together like two years later and then moved in together in uh, South Philly in a place until he uh, he moved onto a boat. Oh man, <laughs> he lived on a boat. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. track so. Oh, it was so boat living real nice for some people. <laughs> boat living oh. and not boat like not being on the water like with the boat, but no, just he, living in the boat that's parked on the water. He just lived a on a boat, boat that was parked. Par- that's what I mean. Some boat. people love living in a parked boat. Oh, dude, it was fucking wild. He stayed in there the fucking winter. Yeah, yeah. I had a friend who, who lived on a parked boat. Wow, and it's a certain personality. It is. It's like you meet. It's like me and a girl that you know. She only sleeps with black men. It's the same thing. We're like, <laughs> hey, you ever live on a parked boat? <laughs> Once you go, once you go boat, you never go. Back. <laughs> you never go back. Once you sleep on a boat, you never go back. <laughs> Dude, I, you know what's so funny about kegs is that that's how blatant alcoholic we all were in my family. We would just get a keg. Oh yeah. For, I mean, not like a big party. It's like, what do you feel like doing today? Let's all throw in on a keg. I, that was a huge. I, I don't know if. Maybe that's how we grew up. I grew up the same yeah, way. Yeah, we there get was keg. always kegs. We like can't family, afford to go to the bar. We family get the keg. things were a pick, uh, you know, any kind of like fuck a pony. Get a pony keg. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. go crazy. The Just little, get a pony keg. keg. Yeah, yeah, the Just get a pony keg. Then oh, you call it a pony keg? That, that's yeah, cool. we yeah, call yeah, it the yeah. pony keg. You remember pony bottles? And the guy that you want to get invited that had the tap. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Who has a tap? Yeah. Because yeah. you got to rent the tap you from them. The tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when it was like my parents there was always you were like a hero in the working class community with the tap in the 80s you were like the dude oh. it's like having the black box with the stolen cable oh you and ever, you had the tap yeah oh yeah, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. those are amazing dude. joe cardo if he he was bad father irresponsible but always had a black box <laughs> we always yeah. and it's funny because that era of black box they're like they used to show the same movies for a month yeah there are like 10 movies that I know word for word. Not good Dude. movies, just because I would just watch them over and over and Dude, over again. I saw Honey, I Blew Up the Baby. I know the whole fucking movie. Dude, I saw Heat probably 50 times. Because of the black box. In the late night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, uh, totally. Uh, we had, and you had to watch though. You, you had to be yeah. careful. You couldn't watch, like on fight nights, they would send out voltage. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had to get yeah, that little yeah. DC blocker kind of <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they would fry boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. my dad had, we went through probably four black boxes. It's so funny now that that exists in like Amazon Fire Sticks. Yeah, nobody <laughs> even knows what that is. Really. Yeah, I, I, we're talking about it right now. So it, it was like a cable box that was rigged to get yeah. every channel. Every channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you always porn, had to have, you always had you to had have all a guy. The porn, you had well, everything. it was like softcore. You could, couldn't get real spice. Spice channel. Spice channel. You get spice channel. Yeah, yeah. Which <laughs> for me at good. twelve, that's was my. Oh, yeah. I remember my brother and sister one time. I was whacking off, and uh, I used to get home before them. And I had that Spice Channel on, and I was so immersed in the in the cinema. They were banging, on, they were banging on the door. <laughs> they were probably outside after school for easily fifteen minutes banging on the door because <laughs> I was jacking. I was Bro. jacking it. Spice Channel back because there was nothing like. That. Oh, oh, there was nothing. like It's that. almost a sweet spot of the porn era where you're like, man, what a because you had to. It was so hard to obtain. It was so right because you had most of it was magazines, and then you would yeah, get. You like, didn't have your tapes. own money supply. Yeah, They're, it was so hard to get VHS tapes. Right, you would have you would have, but like to put a VH te- VHS tape in somewhere and watch it and j- be able to jerk off. Oh, you know, dude, it, yeah, no, because you never. You VH- gotta have. You gotta know for a fact that you gotta have forty five minutes. Yeah, you gotta have back end yeah. in case someone comes home early. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I remember a buddy of mine. His dad had. A couple of porno tapes, uh, and he would leave them right on top of his. <laughs> they were like out, like people leave uh, coffee table books. Yeah. <laughs> this kid's just uh, this is Jenna Jameson's but, best but, hits, but they were like blank cassettes. They were like he like dubbed them, right? So it wasn't <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it was like just. <laughs> a, uh, <laughs> we're such white trash. I had an uncle. And he had a wall uh, cabinet. I mean, the full fucking wall. And he had just been renting tapes and dubbing them. Oh, <laughs> it was just all these dubbed movies. Dude, dude, I had a friend whose dad, he, he he's like, it's worth the extra VHS deck for all the movies I get to keep. <laughs> it's just such a fucking scumbag move. <laughs> They're so proud of it. <laughs> and then they had high speed dubbing. Do you remember high speed no, dubbing? No, we didn't get so that. So you could play it. You could do that with cassette tapes, and then you could do it with VHS tapes, but it didn't really <laughs> I mean, do. now you're running an operation. Yeah. Why are you buying that? <laughs> 
<laughs> Unless you are, I mean, money has to be earned. Like, just, dish- just to get the uh, the most porns. <laughs> I up my porns two, three tapes a month. You with know how much I did with these on the street? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I remember my dad stole a bunch of shoes once. Like he had a buddy who like knew how to get some shoes, and uh, I just remember how excited I was. That and it's so funny how open he was about it. <laughs> he was just openly talking about oh, oh a dude who's. St- I mean, this guy's st- Nikes too. Right. Uh, he stole easily two hundred pairs of shoes. Oh wow! So it was like a. And my dad was just like openly talking about it as if he was talking about work. So you were in San Diego. Yeah, this was in San Diego. So yeah. like, what, and uh, I know how he got it, but I don't want to say it. No, all. no, of yeah. course, yeah, yeah. But was it like a suburby kind of where you were at, or was it so like where I'm crap from? Close to the city, used like, to be lower middle to working middle class, uh-huh. and we were on the lower middle class side. Yeah. But ever since California's had a surge in prices for homes, it is now pretty oh, affluent. San Diego, My area, San Diego, popped off. Yeah, so sure. like. Every house is six hundred thousand uh-huh. yeah, yeah, and above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't. You're not gonna find anything probably less than seven hundred. Uh, oh wow. So, but back then it was yeah. a lot of like blue collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even in some parts there were um, government housing. Uh huh. So you had those those yeah, yeah, people yeah. as well. Yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, that, it was a pretty. So mixed you bag. had yeah right. So it was like a, that uh, that neighborhood. You had characters like guys oh, yeah. who was who would oh have yeah oh my god Nikes. oh yeah, dude yeah, 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 we yeah. had bank robbers. We had our own serial killer. Oh wow! Yeah, the Claremont serial killer. Oh wow! Yeah, dude, fucked up. Uh, what, like, how old were you when the serial killer like was around? Eight. Oh shit! We right by our house. Oh my Did god! Did you get scared? Well, yeah, because we um, like, I come from a family of a lot of like, attractive women. Oh right. And we all lived in one house. There was like ten of us at oh, the wow. time living in one house uh-huh. in that neighborhood. And a guy was killing women. Yeah, he was. Of course, these guys yeah, just yeah, fucking. Yeah. In the apartment complex he was doing it in. How long did it last? F- five months. Oh, that's a long time. He would do one once a month. So as a kid, you're hearing about this fucking yeah, for a and long at, and at, time. And at the time, a lot, it, all my mom's sisters and her were young. So it wasn't like they were in the house all the time. They were yeah, right. out working or... Yeah, your mom right, was probably 30. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 yeah. She was right. really young. Yeah. Um, but I remember being kind of scared. Like, Yeah. Like, holy shit. Because we lived, it was before people started taking privacy into account. So the fences we had were like really low fences. Oh. And there was an embankment to a, almost like a, it wasn't a highway, but it was one of those roads you can go like 50 miles per hour. Yeah, yeah. One of those I, roads. I'd same thing behind my house. Yeah. yeah. And people, when they were trying, to, like I remember one guy was a family friend. There used to be like a nightclub. Uh, and he had knocked a dude out of the nightclub, and the cops came, and he ran and up the embankment and hopped our fence to hide in the backyard. So you, people did that. Yeah, and people, hide, yeah, I used to, people just yeah. would hop our fence a ton. It oh, was dude. F- one guy tried to steal something from the backyard, and oh, dude, one bro. of my crazy Hawaiian uncles. That shit was so funny. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, if I knew a lot of people would, and my window was right by the backyard. Oh, so for the serial I was, killer. I was like, yeah. the serial killer. Right? Yeah, right. Good night, Joe. I, I mean, you mentioned being eight years old. You're thinking yeah. about it. This guy might. Yeah. Especially with all these women living here. Oh, dude. That's, yeah. That's wild. That's a long time. Five months. Shit. I, the, the only thing I ever had was like, there was a. Um, there was a uh, you know, we had a lot of um, guys that would kill their families in my neighborhood. Really? Yeah, like they would kill. Uh, oh, you have like whole, a lot of like service, like a uh, lot of shit pops off. Like army, yeah, yeah. Like a, I don't know if it was because of that. Like oh. there was even a lady in the seventies in, in the neighborhood I lived in, and she hacked all her kids up. In the front oh yard, shit! Really? In the front yard. No, wait a second. Let me ask you this. This is legit though. That's not. It's not a urban not legend. A kid. You can. Oh, okay. It was like a no, real... no. She had apparently she. Because I, you, you know, know how you when, hear those stories. Yeah. Right, when you're a kid. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. So I didn't know this until I became a father, but. Uh, Postpartum depression oh. is it can affect people in very different ways, right. and if you are already schizophrenic or some kind of thing, it can really throw you off. And yeah. this, I guess, this woman was getting pregnant. She had a lot of kids, like three kids, and I think after the last one, Something maybe just, her husband was always away. I don't know, but yeah, she just yeah. lost it and yeah. she cut him up in the front yard. Wow! Oh my God! Front yard. Ugh. And they, the cops had to come. I mean, it was oh, brutal. Jesus fucking Christ! Dude. Yeah, dude, there's some crazy. That was before where you were from. born. Or yeah, it was like heard, in the seventies. You heard that story later. Yeah. Later, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
The only thing I ever had like that. And we're not like talking that, like at, at 10 miles away. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It was like five streets over. I saw there was um there was a the, these I guess they robbed a bank or something. They they did some robbery the, this cr- this little crew and um it was right up the street. I was in school and we had heard about they were on the loose. They were on the run. This yeah. crew. And um then the next thing you know, I guess I was in fifth grade or fourth grade. We hear fucking gunshots outside the school. And I, everybody runs to the window. Like fucking, you know what I mean? So everybody runs to the window. A bunch of 10 year olds run to the window. And these two, uh, like a guy and a girl, are like fucking running down the fucking road shooting at a cop who's chasing after them. And then we, I see the cop like take a knee. And fucking drop him. Oh, yeah, killed him. Yeah, killed him. Yeah. Oh, so you Nuts. saw someone get killed? Well, I didn't. I when he dropped, like it was like we were getting pushed. Like you know, it was kind of like one of those things because they, they were like pushing the kids down to the ground. Once the, once the teacher saw there was yeah. shots going, but like we saw, and then I heard that you know he took a knee. So I didn't see, but I saw them turned and shooting at the cop, and then we was all started getting pushed Ooh. down. And then some other kid was like, no, then he fucking laid down. So I don't know how. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm telling. As I'm he t- did a somersault. <laughs> he, did, he did that fucking. Over his shoulder. That Turkish Olympic guy. <laughs> like the fucking Butch Cassidy. <laughs> hand or whatever. In, hand in a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is all of that's tactical. Yeah. He's not trying to be slick. Oh, that's it. That tactical. Olympic dude? Yeah. That Olympic Even dude. his daughter was talking about like, yeah. I told him how to breathe yeah. and to not blink, like yeah. all that shit. Hand in the pocket is the, you know, so you don't sway. Let me just tell you where I'm from. <laughs> My high school, there was so much drugs being sold at my high school that they put a plant. A like, plant? What do you mean? Like a undercover. A, a narc? So this uh-huh. girl, this girl is new, right? Uh-huh. And everyone's like, she looks so old. But I'm indoor. Uh huh. She has like big titties. She's uh-huh. definitely old. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 but I am in. Uh-huh. I, it's my it's my junior year. I am no sorry sophomore year. I am in. Like I am all about her. Everywhere she, I'm like sitting next to her, and she is in. And I don't know why, but she's literally in every one of my classes. And I'm thinking, why is this? How did this happen? So we start talking, and I'm I am. I am fucking gift the gabbing her, man. I'm talking about how, what, what school you came from. She's and sh- I, she's I'm f- now I know what I know. She's feeling it. I, she, because now I'm making her laugh, and we're talking about she's at my school for ninety days, three months. So every day, <laughs> can, I, can I tell you where I think this is gonna go? That she and then that's how the guy who sold those sneakers got busted. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say. <laughs> And that's she's, she's how my dad went to jail <laughs> from the black box. <laughs> he set an undercover to get this black box. <laughs> fucking spectrum cable vision. And we got to fucking get these guys. Can you we- imagine every Christmas after that, my dad seven drinks in. You know that time fucking Josh brought that brought here? Took me to jail. <laughs> Over the black box. My <laughs> fucking son brings a traitor into this house. Oh my I gotta God. turn my back on you, son. <laughs> I'm working this chick. Uh, I, I am in, dude. I find her to be sexy. I start asking her really personal questions, and she says she has a boyfriend that lives somewhere else. Turns out it's her husband. But she's right. talking about her husband. And I'm like, do you blow him? And she's telling me. Oh, wow. She's like, yeah, he's very satisfied. Like, we're having, it's getting wow. very, in fact, I could feel her as she's revealing more, like, pull, trying to pull herself back. Like, I could feel it. I thought, I'm going to take her to the prom. Like, I was yeah, very yeah, much, yeah, yeah. this could be my girl. Uh-huh. And, uh, Everyone would talk shit to me about it. They'd be like, "Why are you always hitting on that old girl for? Why that old? Why that old girl?" <laughs> and then I started talking to like the scumbag kids, and I'm like, "Come on, girl, we're sp- you're supposed to be one of the good ones. Why are you hanging with these low lives?" She would say she, that to you. No, no, sh- I would say it to her. Oh, she was hanging out with the scumbags, and I'm like, "Why are you hanging out with these scumbags? Like these people are awful." And she's yeah. like, "Oh no, they're cool, whatever." One day I'm sick because I'm I want to go. To, I'm, I'm pulling a Ed. I just no, I don't want to go today. Yeah, I'm like, so I just didn't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got people calling my house, come 
a buddy of mine came over. He's like, did you hear what happened? I'm like, no. He goes, that fucking chick you've been trying to fuck <laughs> arrested like 17 kids. <laughs> so shit. the scumbag kids, I guess... Were the ones dealing so much drugs? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, she came in her um, what's Jacket. the drug? The FDA, the whatever D- that shit. The DEA. Yeah, she came in her shit. She was a DEA agent. They sent twenty agents in. Holy fuck, it, dude! Well, it was on the news. It was in the front of the newspaper. Whoa, dude! They they and a lot of those kids never came back. No, DEA. They were done. That's federal, bro. Well, because I'm sure it was there. They were just. Doing something for a bigger, a, but probably acid. Yeah, dude. something. What, what year was this? Like ninety six. Yeah, there was. Uh, yeah, man, it was that, wild. Acid was a fucking. It, acid was like such a fucking. I remember hearing about like if get if you got busted with a sheet, it was like worse than a fucking like brick of heroin. I mean, and, and like those that. people definitely. I mean, it was California. Those people definitely had. They were like that. Those surfers, surfer druggy types. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, probably sheets, they're man. probably moving a lot of it. For yeah. them to know about it and then put her in there. But I remember some of those guys like not liking me about it. I, I go, yo, I told one dude, I'm like, listen, I was very attracted to her. <laughs> oh, everybody. Yeah. So they then think, well, I think I'm like a narc because yeah, right. I, I always was hanging with the, the FBI or whatever, the, the DEA chick. Yeah. The undercover. I didn't know. So, I didn't know. So did and then I, I was sick the day she makes the bust. Yeah. So like, I'm, I'm in on it now. Oh, dude. Meanwhile, I'm at home just watching the black box. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love to stay home just to give me just get some alone time with this black box. She's like, yeah, the black box lead is good, but I actually found all these drug dealers. I think we should go after them instead. <laughs> I think we let the black box kid go. Yeah, that black box kid's get a little clingy. I think we should take these druggies. I can't stand this kid in holding. <laughs> I think he's falling in love with me. That's like the funniest end to a movie. They were coming after the black box and then just you just jerk around. I think I came into school the next day after she busted everybody with like some flowers and candy. <laughs> Hey, where's Sarah? <laughs> and I remember there was like one of the teachers were like, did anybody know that Sarah, will, you know, did anyone have any inclination? Yeah, because now every they teacher don't has t- to talk yeah, about it. Because they don't tell the teachers. No. I Fuck would, no. Like the principal probably knows. That's probably it. I don't know. Someone might, maybe the superintendent. Somebody's, somebody's got to someone, know. Someone's in on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, every teacher was like, we should talk about this. And in one of my classes... The guy goes, did anybody like ever try to hit on her or like ask her out? And I was like, I didn't know. Uh, and, and everyone goes, Josh, the whole <laughs> class. Just scream my name, pointing at me. I, my face turned beet red. It was sucked. It sucked. Oh, uh, that's so good. <laughs> it that sucked. That's amazing, dude. You're fucking dating a DAA agent. I in wish high I could school. find her now. I, I, wish, I wish she would. What would have been a love story if she would have came back at my graduation? She's standing. <laughs> I buy the chain link fence like way in a far distance. The fucking race. She's in her box over she's her. She's in her DA. It's over her coat. <laughs> her coat's over her shoulder. Smoking and she looks at me and like <laughs> I'm smoking a cigarette. <laughs> and her fucking partner, her partner's like, what the fuck are we doing? Come on. Here? Let's go. Sarah, let's go. This fucking kid. <laughs> I try by her every day. <laughs> Oh my god. Man, I wish she came back for me. <laughs> it's fucking oh, that's amazing. Didn't leave me a note. Nothing. No, 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 no forty address. So she's like typing out the report and like your name comes up a and she, million times. And she like she like pauses. Kid asked me bra size again. <laughs> She's on. She's on tape. Hey, why are we telling this kid about all the blowjobs she gets? <laughs> hey, can we just fast forward? She's like, can we just fast forward? I'm trying to fit kid? in with these kids, Timmy. <laughs> trying to get immersed in the character. Listen, Sarge. I was just trying to do what teenage kids do. <laughs> you told me about those blowjobs. I'm on. I'll go on record. They should oh, bring me in. I would have. I would have told the cops. Oh, that's so funny! If like one of the kids, like one of the scumbag kids, had like a rich dad, 
and they yeah. get a lawyer and they bring you on <laughs> to <laughs> the <laughs> star witness <laughs> <laughs> and then they fucking go black my <laughs> They print out all the <laughs> shoes my dad stole from the big five. <laughs> they take you, they take you and they like they push they push a binder towards you. <laughs> my dad's out smoking a Marlboro Red outside the court, sweating it. <laughs> like, you better uh, not flip. <laughs> that fucking kid taught him better than that. <laughs> dad, I'm sorry. I love her. I'm in love with her, Dad. <laughs> Oh my god You're like fucking Giving him shit how- And then the camera Just pans down To your stolen shoes <laughs> Closed circuit TV Can you imagine The legend I would have been If I would have Ended up uh, banging her Dude I'd have been I'd have been a high school hero And you save all those kids From going yeah, to jail Talk her out of it Because yeah. she wants to Keep it going Yeah Oh Man, my god That's a great movie Well you know what I just realized You've thought through that uh, oh. Numerous times Oh my god This yeah. is you. This is played out In your head <laughs> I, Oh my god I, I mean I haven't thought About her In years But you're not wrong During those years Oh fucking be, Those years Oh she was thought About a lot Oh yeah, for sure Because she was so Womanly too You could just tell Yeah dude. And they would put her In the dopey night Like the clothes We were all wearing well, And it I just s- didn't work I still think about a, a, a waitress That was kind of sexy That kind of flirted with me Who was like Four <laughs> years older than me Like back then Like a, a girl this, was This chick had to be 30 years old Wow There really? was no way She was less than 30 It's so funny That everybody knew She was old everybody Yeah and she ex- would have To tell everyone that Oh no I just look old For my age I, You know it's so funny. It, it's it so was funny. so stupid. Yeah. We were so gullible back yeah. then. Imagine now, you couldn't get away with that. Now she'd be on someone's TikTok. Look at this old lady in my class. <laughs> we had a kid. We had a kid. He was a sophomore. He was younger than me. Fully bald. Just full. <laughs> I love those dudes who were bald at like <laughs> dude, 14. It was like. We had one dude. guy we called him Fred Durst. <laughs> we, we called him Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we just called him Dad. <laughs> I mean, if life's not bad enough, you live in that neighborhood with those kids. 13-year-old kid with a hairline back to the middle of his forehead. Trying to get those Caesar cuts. He grow their hair out long. Like, I'm thinning back here. I used to grow my hair as long as possible to try to cover it. Now I don't. It's like, fucking I'm old. Yeah. But, like, I'm kind of glad it's back here. Oh, yeah. That's thin instead of up here. Really- I see the dudes trying to support the Caesar. Oh, yeah. You're like, buddy, I could see it from back here. Yeah, and you're mad. Crazy. I saw a guy in a subway platform. He was mad. You would think he just, was matting it down. Just pulling it off. Making forward. sure it would not move. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I'm lucky. I got the same thing. I'm like here, but up, up front, I'm good. Yeah, it's all that up matters. Front, I'm good. Yeah. This is just. And when you get older, it's, it's over. It's fine. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Well, no, he, you get some. So you don't get sunburn. See, I get sunburn. Oh no, I have enough hair where I don't get sunburn. No, I get like I get sunburn on my fore, on my head. Oh, I don't. No, no, yeah, no. yeah. I, I, I don't. It, I'm doing all right. If it stays like this, plus you got I'm like right. the Sicilian Hawaiian thing. You yeah, don't yeah. even really get sunburn. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I fucking burn like a. Oh yeah, you're a fucking Irishman. Yeah, what was she saying before this? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ed doesn't tan. It just the the outline of Ireland <laughs> happens when the sun hits his body too much. <laughs> He looks sunburned. Why? Because I could see the I could see the country of Ireland on your chest. <laughs> he hears a fiddle. <laughs> he hears a fiddle, and then a limerick just comes into his brain. <laughs> uh, you can follow me at Josh Ricardo and go to joshricardo.com for our tour dates. We're going to be all around the country here coming up. Stay tuned. We're also going to have some nice fall dates coming to you as well. So make sure you. Take a look at that. Uh, follow me on uh, Instagram at Edmund Comedy. Go to edmundgowan.com to see my city dates. And uh, email us if you've ever seen somebody get shot outside your school or dated a DEA agent undercover. Email us at workingclasscomedians at gmail.com. We'll see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in working class holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.